Hello, people, and welcome to the Master Joe Gamer Show. This is Master Joe 116, bringing you some more Raymond Legends Challenge action. Haven't played this in a little bit, so let's see what I can do. I've been challenged by Oompa Loompa 2012 to today's daily challenge, so let's uh, see if I can best the lad. He knows not what he does. Let's see if I can view his score. Mm. I have played this one a little bit. This is a never-ending pit. Grab them quickly. Currently sitting in gold with a time of 25.63. Uh, the leader in this is once again Spear Mick from France, the legend, uh, with a time, ooh, considerable time, of 14.74. Uh, second place is 1558, so he's leading him by a solid second. Um, let me see if I can go out here and get to this challenge. So it doesn't really take me to the challenge time that Oompa Loompa posted. That's very weird. It doesn't even show up in my friends. Well, alright. Anyway, let's see if I can do better than what I did. I believe there's a Murphy's Dungeon as far as you can in the Extreme Challenge today. And that is by far my favorite kind of challenge, so I'll probably do some of that after this. Oh boy. Dang it. Oh, I'm, I'm screwing up right now. Big time. Yeah, and that's, that's not beating anything. <laughs> if you get this far down, you know you've lost. Hmm. Well, wait a minute. Maybe not, actually, because that's a lot of stuff that's lined up. So maybe if I get there quickly enough, I can actually improve my time whilst going further than I need to. Interesting. I don't know if that made sense to anybody, but basically what I was saying was that rather than spending a lot of time trying to get these these kind of hard to get lums in the beginning, I may be able to just, you know, skip some of them and move faster through the level. Like these here, I get all these and it's on a track, you know what I mean? So I, I may be able to do something, not this time obviously, but... May be able to do something where I can benefit from that. Dang it. Dang it. Uh, not gonna get it on this one either. Jeez, I was like a whole five seconds behind. Wrong button. Didn't mean to leave. Hmm. It is raining outside. <laughs> Just picking up the, the tones of the low hum of rain. Dang. That is, that's a hard jump to make. Already, yeah, I'm way past it already. I'm just not moving fast enough. I'm trying to beat my own score of 25-63.
Man, how did I get that? Three seconds behind. That's a lot. Well, in other news, I played um, a little bit of Monster Hunter on Friday in the weekly hunt. And then we also did. Oh boy. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to talk while I'm doing this. It's just, it's too hard. It was really hard. I don't know how I got 25. Ah. That one is a, is like a trap, like, that's one, I could get it, sure, but it takes so long to get it, it's like, is it not even worth it? Wow, I could have beaten my record right now, but I got hung up. There we go. Two seconds ahead. I'll take it. I will take it. Alright, so. Dedicate the rest of the time. To this. Which is the uh, Daily Extreme Challenge. As far as you can, Murphy's Dungeon. These are my favorite ones. So, let's see how far I can go. Yeah, we played um, Nintendo Land, Legend of Zelda Battle Quest last night on the Master Joe Gamer Show on my Twitch channel. It was awesome. Uh, I had some friends over. We were going to play The Cave, but that's a three-player co-op game, and it was part two. Dang it. You're not supposed to cut that one. It was part two of a series, and uh, one of the three wasn't feeling too good. So rather than trying to get through it without him, we uh, just opted to play Nintendo Land instead. And we did pretty good. That game is ridiculously hard. Uh, the Battle Quest. Legend of Zelda Battle Quest. We made it to the, I think the second extra hard mission uh, before we died. So, or, well, we didn't die, but we just, we couldn't beat it, you know? We tried a lot. <laughs> so. Yeah, I really like these Murphy's Dungeon ones. Like, this is, these are my favorite ones by far. I like to go as far as you can races, but, or not races, but like the running ones where you'd be in the land of the dead or someplace or another. But these are my favorites. I'm not exactly sure why, but I just like them. They're not as technical as the, as the running ones, I know that. Sometimes, you know, just depending on how you jump, you can mess something up. This is just, you know, swiping your finger to make sure you hit things. Alright, doing fairly good so far. Firewall is ever looming in the background. <laughs> Dang it! I... <laughs> that, this is where I died last time. I mean, that's a marginal increase from my score, but I couldn't pull that thing down last time I played. This is the exact same spot. <laughs> And I missed it the exact same way. That's just crazy. If you notice, I've turned the ghost off on these because it really doesn't matter. I mean, unless you're doing a race, there's no reason to see what anyone else did. 
Um, this is an extreme challenge, so you can't play it multiplayer anyway, so the best you can do is, you know, just to tap and your runner's always going to be the same. Dang it, I did that again. Uh, so there's really no reason to turn the ghost on. They confuse me sometimes, honestly. They, like, mess up my timing. Um, so unless I need them, I kind of just turn them off. The daily challenge, I kind of, I should have had them on so I could see what kind of shortcuts other people were taking and see how I can improve upon that, but I just wasn't thinking about it, I guess. I've been thinking about doing a uh, Metal Slug playthrough. I have the Metal Slug anthology for uh, the Wii. So that's Metal Slug, I believe, 1 through 6. Um, my favorite, of course, being Metal Slug X. Wasn't too much of a fan of Metal, Metal Slug 5 and 6. Um, they have weird characters to me, weird bosses. But I mean, it's Metal Slug, it's fun. So, I wouldn't mind playing it. I'm currently doing a Super Metroid playthrough for the first time ever. Um, I have never played Super Metroid before. Kind of ashamed of that. Uh, it's a oh crap! It's an awesome game. Woo! Big save. Uh, oh, and then I down a stupid fireball. <laughs> anyway, it's an awesome game. Um, I've never played it before. It was released, re-released on the Wii U eShop for 30 cents as part of uh, their promotion, like 30th anniversary or something like that. Mm. I'm eating an apple. It's delicious. Red delicious apple. Mmm. I'm trying to increase my fruit intake. I've got to be healthy. You've got to eat the rice. You've got to fuel your body. Mmm. <laughs> my birthday was uh, this past Thursday. And I discovered that there's no better way to read a birthday card than in Arnold. Read a birthday card like Arnold, you're guaranteed to laugh. I mean, you read pretty much anything like Arnold, you're guaranteed to laugh, but especially birthday cards. If I die here, I'll go grab one and, and read it. <laughs> Just to have it on the on the recording here. Because it's hilarious. I, I had a great birthday. I'm 25 now. 25 going on 18. <laughs> Everyone tells me I look like I'm 18, so my response to that is I'm going to look beautiful when I'm 40. Just just wait, my skin's going to be glistening. Not always a bad thing to look young, you know? Young people don't want to look young. They want to look older than they are, you know, teenagers and stuff. But as soon as you hit a certain age, that's not you anymore. You want to look... You know, you want to look young, you don't want to look old. It's funny how that works. Alright, my favorite part is coming up, so let me concentrate here. Hopefully I won't miss the stupid thing again. You have to pull it up. I just realized that. The track does not go down. It goes up. Oh, foolish knave I am. That rain is really coming down outside. You may not be able to hear it on the mic, but I hear it. It is loud. It's raining kind of heavy. Here in North Carolina. It's supposed to be raining all week, actually. Kind of glad though because it gets hot, man. It gets hot here, and I'm not. A, uh, oh, dang it! I tried to pull my finger back. I don't like it when it gets all hot, you know, and it's hot in your car when you go back after work and all this type of stuff. I just like cool weather, you know. Fall is my favorite season by far, um, just because it's not really cold. It's coming off of that summer heat, and um, there's no bugs. There are not as many bugs as there are in spring. The spring kind of has the same weather that fall does, but there's bugs. 
and pollen. Good lord, there's so much pollen here in North Carolina. Can't even begin to tell you. It's lessened up now, but like when it first started back in, I think, April or so, my car would just be yellow all the time. And I have a black car, so it showed up. It was horrible. Ooh, I was close. I like that you can complete certain puzzles differently. Like that last puzzle I just did, you could um, opt to either move another platform up or down or, or something else, or you could just move the platform up like I did, and uh, that'd be the only thing you have to do. So it's like, you know, how much bandwidth do you want to spend on moving things? I like to have options. Fire gets so close right there. Alright, now that I know to move the platform up, let's see if I can accurately target it. Okay, move that one up too? Wow! Holy crap. What? That this is just not right. Like <laughs> this is just not right. <laughs> move these platforms up. Oh, but move this one down. Ah, oh, and the wind doesn't help. It makes you move so fast. But it's simple though. I mean, this is really just about memory. It's like okay, if I can remember, move this platform up and move that one down. There's no tell. There's no telling how far I can go. I should have checked the leaderboard to see uh, what the leader is in this right now. I'll, uh, maybe I'll come back and check it after this run if I die. I'm not doing the weekly challenges uh, too much this time. I'm doing, I think I've already got gold in at least the, the regular weekly challenge. I may still be, woo, that was close. May still be sitting on silver on the extreme weekly challenge, but I don't really like them. Like the ones that they are this time around, I don't. I don't really care for them, so I'm not gonna stress about them too much. The dynamic of the game has changed because I've already got like as much awesomeness as I can get. I've already unlocked everything on all the characters and all the different challenges. So now it's really about well, what do I feel like doing? I don't have to do anything really. Um, there's nothing that's going to give me any extra, you know, awesomeness that I need for something to unlock, so... I don't really have any more incentive to play, besides, do I feel like playing, do I want to have fun with it? So now I just kind of play the ones that I like, rather than, you know, all of them. And as I said, I really like these Murphy Dungeon ones. go as far as you can. I don't like the um, grab them quickly Murphy's Dungeons. Um, well, I won't say that. I do enjoy them, but they're kind of linear to me. Or, or, well, the whole thing's linear, but they're, they're limited. There's only a certain, there's a certain, you know, limit to them. Like, you know if you're playing that kind of challenge. Move it up. Didn't move it up enough! Ugh, it's hard to move that one up because it's so close to the top of the screen. You, 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 there's not a lot of swipe room, you know? Um, but I was saying... They grab them quickly in Murphy's dungeons. There's only so far you can go. And you know, once I reach a certain point... I've either done, you know, better or worse, so I can start over or whatever. Like, there's a lot of benchmarks. And if you don't hit them, then, I mean, you might as well just start over, and that's kind of how it is, so. And go as far as you can, there's no benchmark. It's just, how far can you actually go? I tried something there, it didn't work. <laughs> tried to be a little lazy there, and it did not work. Crap, I missed.
I want to go farther than I just went because I know I can. Hopefully I can get that in like the next run or this run. Cause the video's getting a little long now. Every once in a while I do like to do a commentary video. Just because, you know, like I'll watch these at work sometimes and it'll be, you know, something fun for me to do. Um, other times I'll just post, you know, how I did my performance on it performance videos uh, with no commentary and I like those too because it'll just kind of show my progression from when I first started started the challenge and I sucked <laughs> to when I got a good time or you know made a good post or got a, a gold run or something like that diamond run and I can remember being so bad at this or not bad, but just not knowing so many things. Like, not knowing that the bugs gave you, um, lums and the grab them quickly challenges. Not knowing that you could tap the, ske the skeletons, you know. Stuff like that. But now I know. Okay, time to focus. Dang it! I ah, uh, like do you see where the handle is? Like you can barely see it, but ah, uh, it's just the hand. It's so close to the top of the screen. When you actually, you have to like use inertia to throw the thing up there. Like you have to fling it up with your finger because you you physically can't drag the handle all the way up. So like you have to grab it and just do a little flick, like with your finger. And sometimes you don't flick it enough, so it's like it doesn't work. Ah. Uh. Alright, well, I'm going to cut it there. 98, or 998.23 land you a gold. The leader in this challenge is Spearmick. <laughs> it's called it again. The guy, the, the guy is uh, probably number one now in the world for, for, for how many ups he's gotten. So crazy. Um, he's posted a distance of 1,877.36 meters. That's not, um, terribly? Well, I mean, it's impressive because he's first, but, I mean, there have been distance postings of, I mean, in the 3,000s, and I've even seen one in the 10,000s, so... That leads me to believe that this particular challenge gets really difficult the further it goes. Um, but cool. Word, thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.